Hello everyone. Today we're going to go over GeoDirectory and Elementor Pro integrations that have been added. And basically now you can edit any template with Elementor the way you want to. Um, so to get started we have GeoDirectory, Elementor Pro and Hello Theme installed. Um, just very basic install. Uh, if we go to Templates and then Theme Builder You'll see we have new sections, sections GD single, GD archive, and GD archive item. And um, let's just start with a single. Go into there. Now I have the places dummy data installed, so I'll create a places template. And you'll see we have one of our own templates installed here. Eventually we'll have many different ones. And um, you can press the Zoom in icon to preview it live. And we can just click insert. That should take a second or two. There we go, done already. Okay. Um, we'll click, well, first of all, you can go over any of the sort of icons you want. Most of these are default Elementor widgets. This is the default Elementor um, rating widget with dynamic content of GD overall rating and again these are pulled these buttons are pulled in um, via dynamic content as as most things here first we will just publish this and we want to set it to all single GD listings okay that is done let's go and refresh the front page and you can see we have our front page here and um, we have our social links um, email which just clicks opens up an email just now but you can set it to open up a contact form and um, phone number and get directions and um, some more dynamic content here and we have a sticky uh, tabs section here and um, we have used our own tab section here which kind of works out pretty nice and we have smooth scroll to the different sections and some opening hours here uh, and we'll let's go over a couple of quick things with uh, some showing you some of the dynamic content now this is just a standard Elementor button um, let's go for verify no, let's go for featured so if we edit that we just have the featured text. You can make it say anything you wanted to, uh, promoted or anything like that. And we've added our own icon. And under the style, we have set the color to orange. And then under advanced, what we have here is, because we don't want this to show all the time, featured. We only want it to show if the listing is featured or not. So under classes, we can add, uh, so let's get rid of this just now. So you would add dynamic content. You would scroll down to GD CSS hide condition. So then you'd click the wrench icon or you can just click the name. And we want to set it to featured if we can find it. Which we don't actually I don't think we have it on this test install because we haven't got pricing manager set yet but you can see that you can add any sort of raw value or any uh, any condition so say phone number if the phone number is empty then it will be hidden or you can see if the phone number is not empty then it'll be hidden so there's there's different ways to hide hide this uh, this button, and the same with verified, um, with the with the classes. Now these buttons will automatically. This is a social icons widget, and um, these buttons will automatically hide themselves if the condition if there's no email, for example, the email icon won't won't show. Um. And you've got the URL fields via dynamic content there. And the same with the icons down here, which this is hidden for some reason. Um, 
So this is a list icon here. And again, we've got um, geodirectory fields here, pulling in the information. And the same, we've got the address pulled in here and we've got the ratings icon pulled in here by dynamic content. And this is our, our own tab section here, pulling in the content and the different tabs, which you could add, we could do it all manually, but our tab section works nice here. Um, so that is the single page template. And let's go to the archives. Let's go to places. So this is the default, just our way it looks with Elementor hello theme. So let's go back to the dashboard. And we will go to Theme Builder again. We'll go to the archive page, GD Archive, create a new template. I'll call it Places. Again. Now the most requested template that we ever had has been this next to each other with the, the map and the listings. So that was the first one that we created. Um, so I'll go ahead and insert that. Again, we'll add more templates as it, as it goes on. So in here, we're actually using the Elementor Archive Posts widget instead of our own widget, just to show that it can be used and uh, adapted to your needs. We've got our map, we've got title, we've got search, and we've got the filter options here. So if we just publish that the way it is, add a condition, we'll just Let's go with all archives just now and refresh this archives page. Now we have the map and we have our listings here. And again, we have the, the sticky map there. And one thing you'll notice is this is just the standard output of the Elementor Posts widget, but we can change that. So if you click on the edit, you will see the skin. You'll have an option of GD archive item. Now we haven't added any items yet, so it's empty. So let us go and do that now. So we shall exit to dashboard. Go back to the theme builder and let's create an archive item. Again, we're just gonna it's for places, so we'll create that template. So here we have a couple of different options. Um, the first one here is for more for property. So we've, you can see we've got property fields in there. Um, so if you've got the property dummy data or you're doing a real estate website, you might want to use one of these ones. Um, these two ones are more for the standard um dummy data or your standard listings um and we'll just pick this simple one we'll click insert i'll take a couple of seconds and there we go that is inserted and um, we'll just click publish now there's no display conditions for an archive item because it's pulled in via the skin option in the archive posts widget. So if, if you try to add one, it just tells you you don't need any conditions. It doesn't matter if you set it or not, it, it doesn't do anything. So we'll save and close. Let's go back. At this point, we it has not been added to this post widget. You can see if we refresh, it's still standard uh, layout. So if we go to Theme Builder, GD Archive, Let's edit that with the Elementor. Now, now if we edit the archive posts and set the skin to the GD archive item, now we'll see we have this places item. And all we have to do is, once that's set, click update. You can see it's already got pulled in the templates there. Go back and refresh. And there we have it. We have our new uh, widgets, uh, new template. So you can basically add any buttons, any, any you can 
customize this completely. And you can see when I'm hovering, you've still got the map marker bouncing here. And that'll do it for all the all the listings. And you have your sticky map. So basically you can edit any page, any item for GeoDirectory via Elementor Pro now. And that is the end of this video. Thank you.